Hello everyone, welcome to Navya's Indian Kitchen. In this episode, let us learn how to make prawns pulao. So let's get started. Here I have some oil heating up. Once the oil is hot, add in some bay leaf. And also some whole spices. I have cumin, cloves, cardamom, cinnamon stick and a star anise. And fry it just for a couple of minutes. Next here I have uh, sliced onions and uh, green chilies. Add them. And fry this till the onions are soft. Here the onions are nicely cooked. Now go ahead and add in some ginger and garlic paste. And fry this for a couple of minutes till the raw smell goes off. After two minutes, uh, here I have a, a large cube tomato. Add that in. Now keep this covered and cook till the tomatoes turn soft. Let's check. Tomatoes are nicely cooked. Now into this, add the deveined and cleaned prawns. Also go ahead and add in some salt. Turmeric powder. Now put the flame on medium and keep this covered and let's cook it for a few minutes. Let's check. As you can see there is a lot of water coming out of the prawns. We have to cook this till all the water is evaporated. At this point go ahead and add in the mint and the coriander leaves. Now let's cover this again and cook this till all the water is evaporated. I've been cooking the prawns mixture for almost uh, 5 minutes now. Let's check on this. As you can see the water is almost evaporated. At this point go ahead and add in the rice. Here I have uh, 3 cups of uh, basmati rice that I've been soaking for almost an hour now. Go ahead and add, it, add this in. Mix this carefully. Make sure you don't break the rice. Instead of using basmati rice, you can definitely go ahead and use just the sona masuri. That will work as well. So, for every one cup of basmati rice, I'll be adding two cups of water. So, now go ahead and add the water. As you can see I have added 5 cups of water. For the last cup what I did is I took 1 cup of uh, thick coconut milk. At this stage you can check the water for salt and adjust it as per your taste. Now let's put the lid on. Uh, 
and pressure cook this for three to four whistles. Alternately, you can also transfer the whole contents into the rice cooker and just cook it as you cook the basmati rice. I got four whistles and once I switched off the flame, I let it sit for 30 minutes till all the pressure is gone. Now let's check. Please be very careful while mixing it, making sure uh, the rice is not breaking. As you can see, my pulao is ready. Transfer it into a plate and serve it. Thanks for watching.